You're watching the Physics Classroom's video tutorial on reflection in mirrors. The topic of this video is convex mirrors, light reflection, and image formation. And we want to know how does light reflect off of the surface of a convex mirror and how are images formed by a convex mirror. I'm Mr. H. Let's get started. In this video, I will be discussing how images form for convex mirrors. I'd like to begin that discussion by discussing how images form for concave mirrors. For concave mirrors, we understand that there are two special rules of reflection. One is that a ray of light traveling parallel to the principal axis will reflect and pass through the focal point. The other rule is that a ray of light that passes through the focal point on the way to the mirror reflects parallel to the principal axis. We can use these two rules for concave mirrors in order to locate where an image is and to determine how light gets from the object to the mirror to the eye as the eye sights at the image. In this diagram, we notice that ray 1 and 2 are the two rays following our special rules of reflection. They intersect at a point. That point is known as the image point. All other eye positions must sight along a line at this image location in order to see the image of the object. When they do, light travels from the object to the mirror to the eye along the line of sight in order for the eye to see the image. We say that an image is the one location in space where it seems to every observer as though the reflected light appears to be coming from. If you start with a sphere and put a reflective coating on the outside of it and then cut out a portion of that sphere, you have a convex mirror. A convex mirror has a principal axis. It's an imaginary line that passes through the center of that sphere from which the mirror was cut. Along the principal axis are two points. One of the points is the center of curvature, marked C on the diagram. It's the center of that sphere from which the mirror was cut. Then there's the focal point, marked F. That's the midpoint between the mirror surface and the center of curvature. For concave mirrors, we know that the focal point is the point where rays of light traveling parallel to the principal axis will focus. For convex mirrors, it works slightly differently because the focal point is inside of that sphere or on the opposite side of the mirror. So light that is reflecting can't pass through the focal point. So instead it reflects and reflects in line with the focal point. The two rules of reflection for convex mirrors are similar to those for concave mirrors. The first is that light traveling parallel to the principal axis will reflect off the mirror and in line with the focal point, as we just discussed. The second rule is kind of the opposite of the first. It says that light that is heading towards the focal point will reach the mirror first and then will reflect and reflect parallel to the principal axis. We can use these two rules of reflection to determine where and how an image is formed. The basis of the discussion will be that to see an image, you must sight along a line at the image location. And when you do, a ray of light will come from the object to the mirror to your eye along your line of sight as you're sighting at the image. So here's an object, and we can imagine it gives off light in a variety of directions. One of the rays of light it gives off could be traveling parallel to the principal axis towards the mirror and reflect in line with the focal point. And we can imagine another ray of light could be heading towards the focal point on the way to the mirror, and it would reflect parallel to the principal axis. Now, any eye position that is looking along these lines of sight would see the image because these lines can be extended backwards to the image position. So an eye sees an image by sighting along a line at the image, image location. Now we can imagine several other rays of light that would allow other eye positions to see the image. Like this eye position here would have to sight along a line at the image location. When it does, a ray of light comes from object to mirror to the eye. And this eye position would have to do the same. Sights at the image location, and when it does, a ray of light comes from object to mirror to eye along the line of sight. Now we could do this for all sorts of eye positions, like this one here, and like this one here. And what we end up concluding is that an image is that one location in space where we look to see a replica or representation of the object. And that location is the location where it seems to every observer as though the reflected light is coming from. The images formed by convex mirrors are virtual images. Virtual images form whenever the light rays that have reflected off the mirror are spreading apart or diverging. Like the plane mirror images, virtual images are located behind the mirror at locations where light does not reach. 
It's at this time in every video that I like to help you out with an action plan, a series of next steps for making the learning stick. But before I help you out, could you help us out by giving us a like or subscribing to the channel or leaving a question or comment in the comment section below. Now for your action plan. Here are three resources that you can find at our website. I've left links to each in the description section. The top two are both simulations. The top one is pretty awesome. It's worth a try. And then there's the tutorial page. That was the basis for this video. Whatever you do, I wish you the best of luck. I'm Mr. H. Thank you for watching.